Well, I've come to say goodbye temporarily to my favorite thinking spot. I realize it's hard to leave paradise, but sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. We recently found ourselves in need of a second vehicle. So I picked up a used car and uh, getting to be in my old age, I'm getting a little picky, so it had to be just the right color. And so I found one in Chicago. Got loaded on the truck today. It's on its way. It should arrive in Seattle middle of next week. I've booked my flight. I'm going to head down to Seattle, pick it up, drive over and visit my mom, drive up and visit the grandchildren, and then drive all the way back here to Valdez, 3,000 miles. Probably the worst time of year to be doing it. But at least there'll be very little traffic on the road. Be sure to join me on my adventure. It's going to be fun. Wednesday, October 20th, 8.15 a.m. That should work. Oh, shoot. Hello. This is he. Uh, I had COVID uh, mid-August. Uh, mid so, 90 days. Well, it's only been about 60 days. So, you mean to tell me that I'm going to test positive and I won't be able to cross the border? Oh, frig. Well, that's just great. So, I need a rapid test. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Thank you. Darn. Now, what am I going to do? I need a rapid test. I know. I'll call Pauline. <laughs> so, now I find out that if you have had COVID, it takes about 90 days for it to work through your system so that you don't get tested positive. Well, I had it mid-August, and now we're mid-October, so that's only about 60 days. So it sounds to me like this entire trip is called into jeopardy after I've made all of my bookings and called everybody and made all my arrangements. I'm so frustrated. So <clears throat> we just found out there's a rapid test clinic uh, this morning, Sunday morning. So I'm going to go get the rapid test. And if it comes back negative, I'll have to go back on Tuesday to get tested again because I need a test within 72 hours to cross the Canadian border. So that's the plan. I want to get tested. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I got the test done and the test is negative. We're good to go. Now I only have to go and get a second test on Tuesday morning because I need that within the 72 hour window. So let's hope everything goes smooth with that. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. Time to go get another test and hopefully come out negative. And I can be on my way, fly out tomorrow morning. All right, back home now. I gotta get to packing. Hopefully I'll get my test results real soon. And then I can get on with life. Hello? Yeah. What? What do you mean invalid? So that means I have to come back and do it again? Oh, darn it. Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. Thank you. Great. Invalid test results. So I gotta go back and do it again. Fun, fun. Okay, well, hopefully third time's a charm. So a lot of driving back and forth. Now I gotta get packing. Hopefully get the new test results very soon. And hopefully it will be negative. Aha. Hi. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, super. And that's good for crossing the Canadian border, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Yes, we're good to go. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Okay, so we got our negative COVID test, so it looks like we're good to go. And like any good grandparent, what do you bring? Treats. Well, I'm going to get treats in Canada, but I got a couple of things for the children. You know how many years I've been waiting to spoil my grandchildren? The time has finally arrived. I'm going to get them some toys too, but what grandfather who homeschooled his children can't resist getting books for homeschooled grandchildren. <laughs> so we have Sweet Home Alaska, uh, some things in me, 
just need a chance to grow. I think uh, Violet will enjoy that. And I think that Rosie would enjoy something about dinosaurs. Alaskan dinosaurs, Alaska's dinosaurs. And then for the little junior there, Evan, we have some uh, wipe it clean letter books because I know you're just gonna love having to do your letters and numbers. Every child does. But since my grandson is a gearhead <laughs> and they like Lego, look at this. Lego models, four exclusive Lego models, amazing vehicles. So he gets to make all these cool little things and they have all the instructions. Hopefully they'll have fun with that. I'm gonna have fun giving it to them and I'm gonna have fun watching them play with it and I'm gonna have fun playing with it too. Okay, off we go.